Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm running a short devotional thought on each chapter and then sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Genesis chapter 24. It is important to know who you're talking to when you are praying, because prayer is neither a pep talk nor a pity party. It is a direct communication with God who desires a relationship with you. Genesis chapter 24 verses 12 to 14 records one of the ancient prayers of God's people. Abraham's servant who was sent on a mission to find a wife for Isaac. And I quote, he said, O Lord, the God of my master Abraham, please grant me success today and show loving kindness to my master Abraham. Behold, I am standing by the spring, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to drink water. Now may it be that the girl to whom I say, please let down your jar so that I may drink, and who answers drink, and I will water your camels also. May she be the one whom you have appointed for your servant Isaac. And by this I will know that you have shown loving kindness to my master. Amen. So as we listen to the servant's prayer, and we also listen to the conversation between Abraham and his servant prior to this prayer, we learn that they believed in God's providence and in God's direct involvement in their daily affairs. This is the same faith we hold today. We believe that God is both sovereign and God is personal. He's overall, but he's also involved in the details of our life. That's amazing. Jesus taught his disciples to pray according to this same faith, these same truths. So let us listen to the Lord's Prayer found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Do you hear how those dual truths just weaved their way through that amazing prayer? Seize the moment and pray in this way according to the Lord's Prayer and according to these truths every day as you grow in God's sovereign grace. And may you seek His will in your personal life today and every day. God bless you. Seize the moment.